Today we are going to be talking about working out. And working out what, I hear you ask. We're going to be giving working out our, what? It's too late. We're going to be giving our relationships a workout. Now, how do you keep yourself healthy? Craig, can you answer me when I ask oh, you I a question? I thought that was a rhetorical no, question. No, no, it was a question question. What's the point of rhetorical questions? <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, no, it wasn't. You keep yourself healthy. By Exercise. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Exercise. And how do you keep your relationships healthy? Exercise. exercise. In my new book, Care Aerobics, I have written 50 different exercises for you and your spouse to practice to keep your relationship healthy. Care Aerobics. I like that. So I'm going to care... pick one of these at random. Got it. So in this exercise, you have to tell your partner something they do that you don't like, and you have to tell them how it makes you feel, and then they have to say it all back to you. Got it? Yes. Okay, this is going to be fun. Yes, yeah, okay. definitely. So I'm going to go first. I don't like it when you stack the dishwasher and you put all of the bowls at the top and there's never enough room and I've told you about it so many times and you still continue to do it and it makes me feel like you don't care about me enough to do it the way I ask. Uh-huh, right. So now you repeat it all back to me. Hmm? What I just said. Uh, something about the dishwasher? Yes, but what? You like how I do it? No. No, I don't. That's what the whole point. Okay. You know, just let's start over. You think of something that I do that you don't like. Oh, I I can't really think of anything. I think you, you're able to. No, I like everything about no, you. No, come on. Just think of something. I don't know. Maybe that you spend uh, quite a bit of time on the phone. Okay. And how does that make you feel? That you, you spend quite a bit of time on the phone? Okay, so now I'm going to repeat that back to you. Okay. So you think, even though I'm trying to juggle a successful career and motherhood and I'm chasing after your children all day, that I should be denied the simple and cost-effective comfort and support of speaking to my mom on the phone, who is there for me emotionally in a way that you never will be? I don't think that's what I said, was it? You know... I think that was. I think you could take this book and you can shove it up your ass, Craig. Hey, wait! I just thought of something else about you I don't like. I, uh, had a one night stand about uh, two years ago. Because I'm not a whore. Uh, but I knew right away it was a bad idea. It was like a mistake because I actually really liked the guy, you know. Um, so afterwards, we're lying there, and I'm like, oh, you probably shouldn't have done that. And he goes, don't worry, Erica. Everything's going to be okay. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Everything's going to be okay. That's great. Um, but then some time passed, and I realized, you know, that we had just like slightly different definitions of what okay meant. <laughs> you know, like my definition was, oh, everything's going to be okay. We're going to get married and have kids. And... <laughs> live happily ever after, and his definition was neither of us is going to die. <laughs> after I never hear from him again. So. Did that get too sad? Is that, <laughs> you don't like the dark stuff? I know it was pretty dark. Um, gets worse. Gets, gets lonelier. My sick gets darker and lonelier. Um, like another guy tried to seduce me with Adderall once, um, which apparently I'm mispronouncing, but it's my joke. Um, so it will continue to be Adderall for the duration of the joke. Um, he's like, you want to go back to my place and do some Adderall? And I was like, okay, sure, it's good for learning, right? <laughs> so we went back to this place, we did the Adderall, and I think that what we learned uh, from the experience is that Adderall is not ecstasy, not have the same effects. I was not at all turned on. Instead, I was just very, very focused on finding ecstasy. I have a weak bladder my whole life. I, I pee my pants. It's only when I crack up and when I sneeze and when I cough. Um, as a kid, it was really embarrassing. I leave a lot of puddles around towns. 
I, but as I got older, I was like, I'm a comedian. I'm a joke anyway. I'm, I'm just going to pee. <laughs> and I know by accepting this and not working at it, it's only going to get worse as I get older. So I found diapers on Amazon called Always Discreet Diapers, and I'm going to buy them. I'm pumped. I already thought of the situation. I'm like, these diapers are going to rock. Next time we're at a rock concert, was that long line for the women's restroom? All the girls like, oh, my God, it's taking forever. I got to go. They're going to see me in the corner like, I'm going right now. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I was hooking up with a 25-year-old that was going as well as it can go for a 25-year-old until he sent me a text that said, where have you been all my life? <laughs> That's what the 25-year-old asked me. Where have you been all my life? I'm like, well, let's see. <laughs> when you were born, I was a senior in high school. <laughs> now send me a picture of your dick because that's what young guys do. When you're dating a younger guy, you're always one text message away from a dick pic at any given moment. <laughs> and you never know it's coming because they never send a here comes a dick text right before that creepy fucking photo. It's always, to me, it's almost like they wake up in the morning and they're shocked that it's still there and they just want to document it and just send it to every girl they've ever met. Just like, fuck, there it is again. Snap, happy Tuesday, ladies. <laughs> that's my Tuesday dick. <laughs> Looks a lot like my Wednesday dick. It scares the shit out of us, it does. Especially like when you're in the car and you're like, oh, I have a tech, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a dick, I didn't even get it. <laughs> I hate it when they send us like pictures of a dick we've never met. Like we've never hooked up with them and they're just like, here's my dick. It's weird, it's like looking at a picture of my friend's kid that I've never met. I'm like, well, he looks friendly, I don't know. He could bite, I don't know what's going on in the picture. Is he wearing a hoodie? What is happening? Always makes me think, like, what did guys do before camera phones? Like, don't you imagine that? Like, always imagine some guy in the 80s and 90s just being like, fuck. <laughs> if she could see it now. <laughs> well, she'd be right over, obviously. <laughs> Quick, get the Polaroid and a stamp. <laughs> Which would actually be the best letter to ever fucking get. Like, wouldn't that be the best letter to ever get? Like, guys, the next time you want to send a dick pic, please go old school and mail that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> and do it with a Polaroid and only half develop it. So we try to do some work and we're like, what is this? I don't even know. <laughs> I just got a letter in the mail. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Oh, it's a dick. It's a dick. <laughs> well, that's going on my vision board. That's where that is. Hey, can I help you? Oh, no, I was, I was just leaving. Hmm. I think. There's nothing to be embarrassed by. It's just a sex toy. You OK? Sorry, I, I just got a little dizzy. Um, what do you what what do you think of uh, of this one? Nice, a woman who likes a huge dildo. Uh, Kinky. I uh, it I that wasn't in my hand. I'm looking for a small vibrator that will give me uh, the best orgasm of my life. Uh. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm just looking for a small, tiny vibrator that will give me the most amazing, mind-blowing orgasm I've ever had in my life. Just hit that G-spot, pump it. Sorry. Miss, miss. Mom, dad. Our daughter purchasing a huge vibrator for her vagina. This is a total disappointment to your family. <laughs> Look what you did to your mother. Why is my boss here? Do you have the quarterly numbers or were you too busy uh... masturbating? Hello, sexy. I got something big for you right here. Embrace your sexuality. Have wild, kinky sex with this gross man. Congratulations! You just purchased your 100th vibrator! 100? Congratulations! Congratulations! Wow! 
Million times in a sex shop. I uh, would really, it's fine. I gotta go. I gotta go. But did you want the vibrator? No, thank you. Oh, well. See you next week. Yeah. There's only one more to be really good at third wheel. Is you have to leave when they start banging. Yeah. If I stay that really creepy person taking a note. You know, I really like it. I'm always backseat of the car. I never have to decide which movie to see, where to go eat. And if they break up, I just move on to a different couple. Basically, the, you can go to court and plead turned out. That is basically <laughs> what I'm saying. You can go to court. You can go to court and be like, Your Honor, that dick had me like, whoa. <laughs> and he cheated on me and I had to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the court's like, yeah, we get it. That's five to ten. I was watching another show. It was a documentary, actually. Um, and this documentary was on Lifetime. And, you know, it's, I watch because I'm a woman and I'm genetically predisposed to watching that. And it was a documentary about men who were all in prison for murdering their wives. And when they asked each one of these men why they did it, they all had the same response and that response was i wanted to be with my mistress but i didn't think my wife would leave me and i'm watching this like you didn't think your wife would leave you well maybe if you had told her that you were gonna kill her like did you present all the options like what are you doing dude what about a powerpoint presentation you could have showed her Maybe a pie chart showing her percentage of survival if she stayed. I don't know. Maybe your wife's a visual learner. But I feel like <laughs> you needed to have a sit down. Oh, oh. oh my oh. god, Gretchen, are you OK? Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Hey. Oh, I'm so glad I caught you. <laughs> they are having a fundraiser car wash at the school today. And you know, you never seem to want to clean your car yourself. I figured you'd want to know. Okay, have a great day. doing take a dance class <laughs> <laughs>